Good morning, Fred. What are you doing? I am making the girls breakfast. Are you cooking me some food? Um, this isn't your breakfast. I hope not. So what are you going to do for today? Go to storage? No, to we're bank. working today. Not working. To oh yeah, we're working today. And But what, what about in between work and after work? That would be storage? storage in the bank. And take my pants back. Why? Because I don't like the way they look. So you keep wasting money. I'm not wasting money. I'm going to get a new pair. Because up here, pants are different because they go inside boots that come up to your ankle. I mean, to your knee. Yeah, I know pants are different just because we're in Georgia. No, Florida. they wear a different style up here. because All, all Walmarts Florida, aren't the same, I guess, yeah. No, it's a different style. In Florida, you wear like these pants where they're, they flare out at the bottom because you wear high heel sandals. Here you wear boots that come up to your knees, so they have to have like these skinny pants that go all the way down so they fit inside these boot things. And I bought the wrong skinny jeans. Not good. Why am I still working on Harvey when I'm selling Harvey? Because I like working on Harvey, because we love Harvey. Um, I put some uh, insulation on the windows over that paint, and I cut it to fit, and uh, it's going to insulate the windows, and it's not going to look as bad. I'm going to trim this up better. Did that same with this window but obviously the curtain's over it. Heather's working out today, and we have a problem with the car. Say hi. Hi, guys. What are you doing? Weights. You actually lift weights, these heavy things? I sure do. What? I sure do. Holy crap. Okay. Get out of the way. Woman, get out of the way. Just kidding. All right. Um, I have a problem here because I'm trying to figure out the car starter problem. The car... It's cranking over slow. It almost just left left, it, left us stranded. And Heather is, uh, man, I don't have my hat on. Let me get my hat on. Okay, got the hat on. It's better now. I, I actually I want to do all my videos with my hat on for now. Ha Did I say that right? I need a coffee, Fred. No, you don't. I don't need a coffee. She says I don't need a coffee. Okay, here's the deal, guys. We have the Honda. It's it almost left the Heather stranded just now. And we're basically, oh, she's dead on the ground. We're basically trying to figure out what the heck happened? Um, I changed the battery. Well, I didn't change the battery. The battery's new, and it's only like a year old. I did a load test on it at the Walmart, and uh, they said it's fine. No, they said it's cranking over fine. Insane. It loads fine. So I charge it overnight. It's fine. I clean the terminals. It's still cranking over like, whoa, 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 whoa. And it starts, but it should be going na 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 real quick. You know, those little Hondas? It's not. So I think it's a starter. The brush is going bad. So I have to find a starter, and they're like, they want... Honda wants nine hundred and twenty-five dollars for a starter. Okay. What the? F so that's not gonna work. So I go on Amazon. I seen the same starter for eighty-nine dollars. That'll work. Look, I don't care what anybody says. Amazon is taking over the brick and mortar stores. Period. They're getting gonna get clobbered, and I'm glad because they're they're overpriced. People are overpricing this stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Nine hundred dollars for a starter. Are you high? Smoke some good stuff. Give me some of that stuff because it'll relax me. I'll, I, don't, I might need some of that after paying nine hundred dollars for a freaking starter. But I'm not gonna pay nine hundred dollars for a starter. They can kiss my butt, and that's the way it is. Okay, guys. So the brushes probably went. Okay. So you know that's the deal, and uh, I'm gonna. Um, now the dogs are all over Heather. Okay, that's enough, Gizzy. So we're waiting for the closing date. It's coming up soon. We get the money for a big fifth wheel and get out of this Harvey. Harvey's nice, but it's time to go. It's time to upgrade. Um, we need more room. Everything's working on currently. The refrigerator problem's fixed. It was no problem. It was just a hose outside kinked, and I went to fix that. Um, but we're selling Harvey. You guys can watch our past videos. We actually have Harvey up for sale. So buy Harvey someone and uh, give me a comment below. You want Harvey, the Harvey's yours, and you know how nice Harvey is. We redid the whole thing. And um, I'm selling it about $5,000 less than I want to sell it for because I, uh, I can't, what am I going to do with two RVs? I can't travel. I got I to gotta store it and everything. I don't want to pay to store it. Let's get rid of it. So we have to be quiet. We can't be getting rid of Har Harvey. Harvey knows we get rid of him. He's going to be mad. Harvey breaks down when we tell him. So you know what Harvey looks like. You know how much money we put into Harvey. And, uh. Give us some offers below. It's we want twenty-five thousand for it. We wanted thirty, but we're going out on twenty-five. 
and that's it. That's the way it is. I'm gonna say that advertise that advertise that a couple times on the videos just so everybody knows about it. And we're not gonna sell it till like probably the another 30 days. So, but give me a deposit. Keep Harvey. Brand new tires, everything. TVs, L LCD TVs, leather couches, everything. And two dogs that do not shed. They're they don't shed. This place a wife doesn't smell. Who's OCD about cleaning. And a wife who has what? OCD about cleaning. She's OCD, so she cleans the heck out of everything. It's driving me bananas that everything is everywhere and on top of me in here. Thirty-five foot of RV with a slide, and she's not comfortable. So, hey, I tell you what, if you're just a single couple with no dogs, or just a single guy or girl, or just wants the RV, like. Uh, Live in your RV and save a lot of money. Buy an RV, live in it. Hell with it. We've been here for two months. We're fine. You need to help your wife up. She oh, gotta help her up. See, this is how I get talked to every day. I was gonna put you on DVD. What's a DVD? Go ahead and say what you were gonna say. What, what Shut your trap, Jack. That's what I was gonna say. What you gotta say about that, Jack? Do you guys treat your wife like that? Especially when she sold her house and lives with you in a fifth wheel? Do you guys treat your wife like that? Do you treat oh, your wife like Jesus that? Christ, don't grab my ball. Do you treat your wife like that? I bet you don't. I bet you take her out to dinners. I bet you open the door for her. I bet you open the car door for her. I bet you do lots of things for your wife and you don't talk to your wife like he just talked to me. Yep, yeah, bunch of lushes out there. It has doing... nothing to do with being a lush. It calls it's called respect. Oh, wait, I have a whole other one. Somebody know. forgot to teach you that. Oh, what are you doing, Fred? You clean your car. What do you think? You're a cowboy now? Cowboy no, boots? I never said I was cowboy. Well, what did you say you were? Cowgirl. A cowgirl? Mm hmm. Well, you don't just put water on your boots. You're going to ruin your leather. No, I'm not going to ruin my leather. I have saddle soap over here. Saddle soap. I just have to get all the Georgia Why is mud. there a b pound in the middle there? gonna dry it out. No, it's the way it is. It's the way it comes. Oh, there's a sticker over it, okay. I have to get the Georgia mud off of my boots before I can do anything to them. Look at her. She's from Pennsylvania. Look at her. She's trying to talk like a southern accent. I'll get the mud off my, my boots before I put, it, put the oil on them. See, so guys, this is what you don't want to see in an RV. Emergency alert system on your TV. But, in this case, it's just a required weekly test. Bam! Beverly Hills Cop, baby! Oh, yeah! Guess a busy. Well, I got the amplifier. And it's connected to all this thing rebobber stuff. And all of our data and our cell phones are reading off this. Pulls from the amp from a park, and then this would be used as a switch. It's a Buffalo router, one of the best, really, routers you can get. It's a giga, gigabit, which we don't need a gigabit, but I just happen to have it, so I'm going to use it as a four port. One, two, three, four, four port switch. And it's got USB for an external hard drive. I might utilize that too. So that's about it. Um, got to get a starter for the car. The starter went. So I got to go on Amazon because Honda wants $900. They're not getting $900. So that's it. That's the way it goes. And uh, so it's still raining out. So I don't know what to do. We just don't know what to do. What are you doing, Fred? Texting away. I'm ready to run away because I'm going to lose my shit if this rain doesn't stop. Did you do your hair today? No. You trailer trash today or something? Yeah, I'm ready to go into the bed. I can't hear out of this ear over here. But well, why don't guess you get what I did? Doctor's appointment? I made an ENT appointment because I think if they take my tonsils out, maybe, that I won't be sick anymore. Let me see your tonsils. No, I'm not going to show them my tonsils. Okay. Well, that's about even Gizzy's board. Ready? And then the boops is up on the dash, so. I'm working. I'm eating some pumpkin pie. Drinking some water and coke, and uh, <sighs> got gotta buy a starter. More money, more money, more money, more money, more money. If we can get our house sold, we can get on with our life. It is sold. Our house is sold, but we need the mula. What's what? Are you, what's going on, Fred? There's a pepper inside a pepper. Pe there's a pepper growing in a pepper. Yeah. Why are you cooking? Cause it's cold outside, and we need something warm in our bellies. What's wrong with your ear, Fred? What's always wrong with my ear? Can't hear out of it? No. What's your ear? This ear? Can you hear me? Not really. Oh. What are you doing now? Oh, is that my dinner? Yep. Oh, yummy to my tummy. That's what I want. 
So I got a good wife. She knows how to make good dinners. Oh, oh that's dinner. Oh, okay. What the hell is that? Looking like a bunch of looking like a bunch of redneck din din to me. Hey, I make rice. Oh, okay. Yes, I got my group on. You guys, join us. Facebook group. It's a public group. It's the Depraise. Go to Facebook and type in the Depraise and I'll let you in tonight. Send us a boat. And send us Heather says, Well, Heather's got something to tell you here. What'd you say? I just stuff my face. Oh. oh she says she said Can, can you, you send us a boat? Can can you send us a boat? Because it's raining and Harvey needs to be able to float soon. Oh, well, we did one of those washer RV in the rain, so we didn't use an ounce of water. It's all sudsy. All sudsy. And no water. Because I'm respectful when they say don't. Hey, Fred. What? What are you doing with the girls? Oh, many baths. She stepped in poopy? Yep. Poor giz. The water hot? Yes. You want to say something to the camera? I'm tired of this fucking rain. Hey, don't swear. It's YouTube. You can't swear on YouTube. Yeah, well, I've had it. I guess she had it. She just swore on YouTube. I've never said a swear on YouTube in my life. Damn water. Yeah, I have. I try not to swear all the time because, you know, I don't know. I just thought I'd keep that, like, thing where I wouldn't be swearing all the time just because I don't like to watch people F this F that that's all they say I mean it gets old after a while you know I'll swear I do swear but I think there's a time and place you, st you stub your toe in a door or something then you you? yeah I don't swear that much do I listen if I stub my toe in a door I'm gonna say the F word many many times whether anybody likes it or not get out of my way or I'll start swinging at that point but there's no need to use that language when just everyday life, to me. I mean, I do use it, but I try not to, you know. I don't use. I don't swear all the time. I don't curse. I do. Twenty-four hours a day. Twenty-four hours a day. She says I curse. I don't think I do. To be honest with you. Shit. When's this dinner ready? Just kidding. All right. I gotta get back to YouTube and edit some videos now. Shaboom! Shabang! Orangutan! Guys, it's raining, so we don't have much more to say, so you know what to do! Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.